a lot of you have probably been seeing on social media, morel is popping up. It's morel season. We're out in the woods today at my brother-in-law's farm, seeing if the kids and us can find some. And uh, I think I think they're on some up here. See where daddy is. He found some. Go, 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 go. Here. Remember what they look like? You got that, kiddo? Good job. Yeah, I can see that one from here, Nate. That's a good one. Where? Like five of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Here we go. Wow. Very successful morel honey. Wow, look at those. They're good size, it's too. Hey, Nate, right? look. Wow. What's that tree right there? I have no idea. I think that might, it's got the shaggy bark and the it's hollow. Yeah, throw them in your basket, bud. Look at the size of those. Whoa. Oh, there you go, bud. Hollow. Oh, there's a good bunch over there. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Good, good find, kid. One of the interesting things uh, we're learning, we're all real kind of new at this, but my buddy Jared, the foraging beard, said to look out for shaggy bark trees with big buttresses. Right there. Just another one under one dead elm. So here's a good example of a dead elm. It's gonna have this peeling bark. A lot of them will have, these are honey fungus rhizomorphs. Also, the roots are pretty well buttressed. As you can see how They've got these big roots. Remember, elms have big butts. We've got at least two. And don't you know, oh, look at all those. Don't you know that's where we're finding them today, right by the shaggy, char shaggy bark trees with the big buck buttress. Ooh, that's a mouthful. For a very good morale nice. oh, Good Lord, Nate. Put, a, put an iPhone next to that thing. Here, I got one. Oh, this one has ants in it. Look at the size of that thing. Oh my goodness. Wow. This one has an ant Yeah, if you got a spent them. one, I mean. Look. Okay, bud. Sit. This is a jackpot. I tell Let's you, go what a good spot. Over. I told you, it's right by a boat. Uh, as we were walking, when we were putting in our perimeter. Whoa. Okay. Do you want one to put in your basket? That thing is huge. Nate. Mine has so many ants in it. Good to have hey, you got to, oh, did you pick those already? See them? There's ants in it. See, all the ants like morels too. Nice acorn. Oh look, there's one, bud. Or is that one you dropped? <laughs> That's a good. That's a good one. What do we got today? Let's see so far. Tell us what you got. Morales. Show us your best one. Where'd you find it? 
I found it next to a, what was the tree called? What was it, Nate? Is it a spruce, an elm? Was elm one of them? I think it was an elm, bud. Yeah. I found it by an elm, and the one looks over there like a nice big one to go look for. Careful. Do you want to go inside the cave? No, she doesn't want to go Poppy does. Go on, Pop. Oh. Thinking that shaggy bark tree there. The huge. This one's broken off. Oh man, look at the size of that thing, Nate. It's a grenade. <laughs> wow, look at those. Those are cool. There's another one over here. See what you got, bud. Hold up the biggest you got so far. Oh, that's nice. It's a good haul. Nice. Click here to follow us on Instagram. In today's post, I have another picture that I found on our own farm and see if you can help me identify it.